Hi folks, I'm Kenny the Vaping Heat and today we are looking at the Kylan Mini 2 RTA. So, stick around. Right folks, like I said, today we are looking at the Kylan mini version 2 RTA um, going to do the usual stuff just going to get down have a look at it unbox it all that lolly da put a builder and all that stuff and um, before we do please bear in mind um, the video quality etc I'm playing about with a few different bits of kit and stuff so you know if it goes a bit of ooh, I do apologize um, but yeah before we get down and do the dirty please remember to, you know hit the like share sub all that good stuff and um, you can also support the channel by buying me a copy the link is in the description below but without further ado let's get down and do the dirty yeah right folks here we are down at the table looking at the kylan mini 2 rta and this is your box you know you've got bandy vape bit of the old you know addresses where everything is bandy vape scratch and sniff and my color as you can see on here is gun now um do is just you know and on the back you just have what you get in the box as you can see all shiny brass type of thing um pop off the lid and you're presented with this stuff first and foremost you get a, a straight glass I think this is about, I think this holds about 3 mil. Um, you get a coily tool type of thing, the usual thing stepped, and it's marked there around about the 7 mil mark. Stick them out of the way and all. Um, you've always got the tank, but we'll, we'll cover that in a minute because if you lift this form out, I can get the bloody thing out. Hang on, I'll just put him over there a minute. You lift this foam box out like so and you put your finger under here they've got all the goodies hid on the side now on the side underneath <laughs> um we have a pre-built fuse clapping i like it this you know where they've told you what the wire is what the gauge is that's good information on that um and there it is a nice little fuse clap coil you also get your usual bag of goodies. You got your O-rings, screws, Allen key. Mm, what type? Five ten eight. I keep getting these mixed. So five ten eight ten reducer. Whatever. It's a reducer. For your smaller drip tips. There you go. Right. You get obviously some little. I can get ahead of the bloody things. I've got any friggin' nails. There you go. Here you go. QC cert with a very faded stamp on it and you get this huge huge and I mean huge pamphlet time type operation manual or destruction manual as I like to call it um, you know multilingual so as you can see it's just the usual god it's like a busy it's like one of them scenes where you get the road map out, you know what I mean? You see the road map of Britain or something on the bloody thing. But that is basically what you get in your box. Everything sits under there. Everything goes on back under there. He goes back under there. Put Mr. Glass back in there. Mr. Coily Cutty thing back in there. This has got like a plastic peely thing on the back of here, so we'll take him off for now. Put the lid on that. And now to the star of the show. Right, folks, so here we have it. The star of the show is the Kylan V2 Mini. Um just have a quick look around at first, you know, you've got your, your top cap here, as you normal know, your 10. Rubbers inside, the O-ring is inside the cap um unscrew a little gasket etc on the top of there everything looking good inside really deep i mean you've got them deep kidney holes and i believe you can fill it 
slightly above as long as it's below the the o-ring on the on the top of here so yeah it could be okay um while you've got the top cap off you can take off your airflow control if you see down the side there it goes down at an angle um all very nice and good um that screws back on like that and obviously you've got your bubble glass which comes pre-installed on the bottom you've got the usual stuff your kylin you see marks all that stuff unscrew get you to the deck it's a rotating deck type of thing you see that deck like you know rotates on there so you can you know keep it on a mod and screw it down it'll be absolutely fine um looking in the chimney you've got two big air holes at the top and on your sides are your juice intake holes and um, machine is very nicely blown on the top as well it looks very good inside and the deck is this um proper proper you know half pipe shape you have a grub screw on this side a grub screw on that side because it's like a poster style what do you do with them two holes the mirrors are the wrong way around they are for to get your coils wrapped uh, is it anti-clockwise the majority of coils are made wrapped coil uh, clockwise coil wise clockwise um and yeah you've got you know your air is going to come down this channel it's going to hit under there come up the bottom and come in the sides um air holes on the side are much smaller than the ones on the bottom um it's a simple enough deck guys the only thing is like you know your wicks drop down the side of here um there's no retaining ring or anything to keep your wicks down so you know it's a big channel that you're gonna have to fill up oh, we'll come to that when we do the wicking so obviously this goes back it only goes back together one way guys you, know, you, you, know, you can't just do that and you'll feel it you'll feel it slot in when it gets around the right place there you go that just slots in so you know it's lined up the air holes re-screw the bottom up and basically guys that's it the kylan mini v2 uh single coil arch here so what we'll do now we'll chuck a build on and then we'll go back up top and have a on it yeah right folks here we are down at the table ready to do a build it's a bit of a rickety table so i do apologize for any wobbling and um, at the deck sitting on the lost bit paranormal 250c obviously powered off until i get the build on um what we do now get in loosen these screws out which you know aren't too bad i'll try and do my best to stay on camera here because it is you know it's a nightmare trying to do this stuff on camera now because just you can't see what you're doing and you just drift off all the time so got the screws backed out as you can see there let's put that to the side coils i'm using are a guy who i use all the time homemade coils find this guy on facebook just search him look him up coils i've got here ni 80 freelians five wraps they are 0.1 dual so i'm assuming it should be about a 0.2 single um i'll just pull one out and drop the box down if you bear with us guys and gals as you can see there they are there they're a, a lovely coil makes crack and cause this guy um whether it's the way i want it to be wrapped i don't think it is no i thought it was See, this, this is what i was talking about it's your coil is being clockwise and anti-clockwise and oh come on I'm trying to get stuff out and it's all wedged in you know what i mean as you can see there and the way these legs are sitting you know that see that you've got your hole there so they're all when i put these in i'm gonna have to twist the coil back hang on a minute Christ, what am I doing? see that when you twist them you see what i mean oh sorry when it's odd it's twisted that's why they need to be rolled the opposite way around but before we do that i need to cut the bloody things didn't i um i believe it was about seven mil i've got a couple of these coily two things kicking about so if you bear with us we'll just put that in this thing i found here and we'll 
cut them. There's one. There's two. That's seven mil. Remember to try not to have them lying on the floor because if you stand on one of them, the hurt. So that's your coil cut. Seven mil. Drop them back there. Again, whack them in here. Place them. Obviously, back in the deck. If I put the thing back on camera, we've got one in there. One. See what I mean with those being crossways? That can be a bit fiddly to get in. If you can bloody find the sod, no, all that is. Need some of the helpers because that's nowhere near. Let's push that out. Plus, I can't see a bloody bat either. I'm, I'm, you know, basically, that's where you are. Drop them in like so. Put your finger on, get your Allen key screwdriver thing. See if I can just show you a little bit while I'm torn in this little bugger. You can just whack him in there. I'm just going to give him a little nip first, just so I can, because I'm going to have to twiddle them on, but I'm going to have to obviously adjust this um, because it's twisted. So I'm just going to give it a little nip first. Do you see what I mean by the legs being the other way around? So basically you've just got to twist it straight, get it nice and central. Doesn't look too bad there, doesn't look too bad there. Um, yeah, and then just obviously, if you're happy with that, just give them a, a final nip. Yeah, I'm not cranking it down obviously, not, you know, I just... Enough to get a good hold there. No, that's not too bad there. Just make sure you know you're, you're lined up nicely with the air holes, etc. Um, yeah, pretty see what I mean about the legs. How, how you've got that criss, you know, you've, you've got that that crisscross now. You see how the crisscross, but if that was rolled anti clockwise, that leg would go straight down and the other leg would go straight down. So that's what I, I meant by the deck with being. And post will be back to front the following left hand wound coils. So what we'll do we'll fire this up. Oh god, you know typical batteries low as hell when you want to bleed it out. Um hopefully there should be enough in to, to bond them in. Gone down about uh, 30 watt-ish, 35 watts. Yes, I have put a new coil in. Yeah, it's coming out around about 0.25-ish. Now we can just see if we can get these to burn in now with a bit of look. Just pulse it nicely. A bit of a strum. As you do, get rid of all them bloody hot spots. That looks pretty good there. Is there anything inside? Ooh, a little one there, PG, a little swine you get off. That's basically it. So, <sighs> we'll give this a sec just to cool down. I'll put some stuff away while it cools down. Um, and like I said, just to try and keep yakking away while I do this without trying to shake the shit out of the table. Oh, I'm better what my life. Hang on, there you go, and I'll move that out of the way. Um, You know, them holes are, for me, they should have been the other way around. Or maybe he's, you know, stuck a couple of more of the holes in. So, you know, you had a choice for, you know, whatever coil you put in. So, what we'll be using today is cotton cards. Um, where's my scissors? Scissors, cotton gauze, tweezers. There you see, I'm almost organised here, people. Um, oh, we'll tear a chunk of this off. Now, wicking this thing is... Um, <laughs> like all Kylan's, a bit of a challenge. Um, what I've found is there's two ways of wicking it, right? Um, and when you're using maximum, what's this juice? Is this 70 30? Is it? I can't remember what this is. Uh, 100 ml. I'm just double checking what my juice mix is. 
It is, I believe it's a 7030. It looks like it, hang on there, hang on, blah, 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 blah. Do apologize, guys, you know, I've just got to double check. Yeah, that one's a 7030. The juice engine's a 7030. So, what we'll do, we'll get this strip back a bit. Maybe a bit thickness, actually, but we'll see. We'll go it in and see where we are. We'll thread this through here like so. Oh, totally missed that. See what I mean when you're not trying to look at something off camera, you just cannot see a thing. Get it nicely pulled through, nice and tight. Get it settled in, as you do with, you know, we can just get that bedded in nicely. I know there's absolutely loads on here. What you want to do with this is to get this cotton to sit. If you're using a 70-30 mile or normal juice, you want this cotton to sit on the better there. If you're using Max VG 80 above, you want it a little shorter. Um, generally, I kind of cut it, I don't know if you can actually see, roughly on line with the edge of the deck or on the edge of the tank, something like that. Right, I'll do that first and I double check just to make sure it's going to reach. It looks like that is going to reach. Maybe pull it through just a tad more. That's kind of what you're looking for. You want that to reach to the bottom. So again, I'll do the same here. Get that to reach down the bottom. Um, obviously you need to rake it out a bit as well. Like I mean, there's obviously far too much there. So I'm going to use these metal tweezers for this. I love using these things because they're just so pointy, so sharp. Get some of the crap out, you know, all the loose bits. Rake it down a bit. Same on this side. Whoop, I'm running off camera again. What am I like? Same off this side. Get it run off. Rig it out. Trim your loosest bitty bitty bits off. Like so. And what you want to be doing now is wetting it. Like I say, I'm using some of this guy. It's a loaded cranberry apple juice. Um, I think it's a 70-30 mix, so that's why I'm going for the drip tip, the the, the, the tear, the cotton to the bottom. What you want to do is just soak it. Get your cotton absolutely soaked and wet, well, not that wet, because I've just literally dripped that out, but never, you know what I mean. Because what you want to do, with it having no rings to keep it in place, with it being wet, I'm going to put a bit of dab in the coil as well, with it being wet, fire some in the coil while you're at it, you know. Get it properly soaked up in the coil. With it being wet, you can kind of like mould it into the, the channels type of thing, the wicking channels. So, what we'll do, if you're looking for that, you should kind of like want to get that to touch the base. And all you're doing is just dropping that down into them channels like so, touching your base. Okay, something like that. Make sure you are touching that base because if you don't, you're going to flood the deck. So same with this. Again, just, it's just literally resting. It's not, you know, don't hug it in. Just rest it in on them channels. You're just filling them channels up just nicely. Be careful, obviously, not to have any overhanging on the threads because you may jam it, but you just want to like kind of mold it in that channel like so. Get that fella moulded in nicely, like so. And that, my friends, is kind of what you're looking at. I mean, it's moulded in there just nicely. Moulded in there just nicely. And again, it's just a case of uh, getting your top cap lined up, you know, your air hose to the side, like so. And just screwing the little fella down. I think I see you can turn it and screw it down just nicely. I always like to crack crack the tank off the mod for the final air shot. Just you know, so you don't crank it down on your mod. Um what we'll do now is oh you see what I mean if you do too tight and you thick of grease as well, that doesn't help. Hmm, this is gonna be fun in games. 
we just fill up your tank. And I'm, I'm getting this. You know, I hate. I don't like these pipette things, mate. I think fucking shit. I'm just, ugh, just everywhere. They take forever to fill anything. Um, but you're getting the general idea. Fill it up. You know, it does take, you know, run over the five ish ml in this tank. I'll not fill it all the way because we're going to be here all, absolutely all day. I just didn't like pipettes, period. I do. Fill it up. Obviously, wipe out your mess up because I'm a messy little shit the day as well. Crank your cap on. And there you go. The Kylan Mini V2, all wicked and ready to go. And what we'll do now, go back up top. Have a blast on it. I'll give you all my thoughts and all that good stuff. So, see you up there. Right, folks, here we are back up top with the Kylan Mini V2. Um, we're sitting on the G Class. I've got some Max VG in. It is the old yellow mess by Buddha Vapes, another one of my favourites. Um, it's coming out at 0.27. 65 watts airflow boot we're we going we're going fully open eh? we'll give it a two to fully open let's have a run Fuck. for a single coil it does not belt the cloud out doesn't it I prefer it roughly halfway because I just that just gives me the right amount of you know air etc. God's good though. Flavour does get a bit better. But head down the nitty gritty after I have a mouthful of tea. What do we like and what do we not like about it? To be honest, not much. Um, <laughs> I think, obviously, the build deck and um, the way they've got the post holes situated. Um, you know, for like, you know, the, the, the odd odd direction wrap, you know, of the coils. I mean, you know, I think it's left handed, left handed, right, 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 whatever. But, you know, it's, it's, it's not the same direction as your mass produced coils, basically, you know what I mean? So, like you see, you can't get away. You pull it in, but it just it just twists your coil a bit. Um, also, this bottom, but the bottom, the, the threads are very fine. Um, it can be a little bit tricky to catch, um, especially if you've got, you know, cotton overhanging that catches the threads. Um, for basically people, that's it. Um, build quality, you know spot on near you know rags or anything it's it's brilliantly done um i've got the gun metal it kind of matches the g-class type of thing well the g-class is showing its age but it matches um and yeah it's good the flavor of this thing is fucking phenomenal it's absolutely outstanding um when you compare it to the single coils that are single coil RTAs that are out on the market you know currently well you know roughly and um, you've got the Kelpie and the in the Destiny yeah I've got them there you know, there's the Kelpie and there is the yep that's the Destiny these two are similar one's better than the other for a certain profile of juice. I think I think the Destiny's better with fruits, while the Kelpie is better with your bakeries, your custards now, right? But if you're gonna compare it to them, it leaves them for dead. It's as simple as that. This thousand percent better than them, flavour wise. The only other one I I wouldn't say if it comes close to, but I still see it this guy here the druga um which i think was my last review this one's still the best this one it's not by a mile ahead of that but this one is still the better one and uh, basically you know it's a nice little compact rta 
but I still reckon this one is probably the best, best single RTA Kyle, uh, Kyle single Kyle RTA on the market. Excuse me, words getting need some more tea. Hang on. Mm. Yep. So I, you know, it's good. But I, I reckon that one's better. But the other, um, what else? The other thing I do, obviously. All the Kylans, you know, I mean, I've got, you know, Kylan 2, and I've got the Kylan Mini V1. I've all got a reputation for leaking, right? Which is, um, obviously down to your, to your wicking, you know, they're pain in the arse to wick. Um, this is kind of the same. The wicking can be a pain, um, but the plus side is you don't get no leaks because it's top airflow. The downside is, if you get it wrong, you just flood your fucking deck and you probably get a mouthful of juice. There's two ways to wick this. Like you see in the video, if you drop your cotton all the way down the bottom, sitting on that ledge, that'll be fine for your average run the mill juices, your 70-30s, etc. Um, anything less, you know, 50-50s, whatever you want to put in it. But when it comes to using Max VG, like this stuff, you know, this is about... You know, it's got their Max VG on the bottle somewhere, right? Which I, th I think it's about, yeah, I think it's about 80% from there. Your cotton, instead of dropping it all the way down, cut it halfway. Leave, see, I don't know if you can actually see this. One. If you leave then juice holes kind of fully open and have your cotton just above it, that allows the juice to flood in and hit the cotton. Because obviously it's a thicker juice, it's not going to flood in and flood your deck. Um, that's probably the way to go with it. That's that's the only kind of fiddly bits or nibby bits I've found with the same um, RT, you know, and I've been you know been testing for a little while now and it's um honestly guys it's a good all rounder, you know. Um I've had fruits in, I've had bakeries in, um and the flavours is pretty good. You know, it's pretty good all the way around, you know, so I'll have another toot. Here's I've got Max VG in that. As you can see, it's wicking like a trooper. Actually bubbles, you know I'm actually getting bubbles, so it's wicking like a trooper. So I'll just let you know you can run on Max VG, but just shorten them there, uh, them wicks. So yeah, basically people, would I recommend it if you like your single air? Uh, Coil R two years, definitely got a Gandhi collection that it's absolutely it is it's, it's a tremendous, tremendous flavour tank. Um I'm loving it. Um, at the moment it is me go to, even though I've got the Druga sitting there, this is me picking up daily at the moment, um as I'm absolutely thoroughly enjoying it. So <laughs> without turning it into a bit of a, a drool and a blah 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 blah, I'm gonna wrap this one up guys. So, you know, like I said before, if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe, share, like. Most of all, leave a comment. Let us know. Um, let us know, you know, comment of this video quality. You know, I'm trying a bit of different stuff here to uh, um, see where we are. Um, I think I'm actually trying to shoot in 4K at the moment. Could be. I think it is anyway. But see what you think, guy. Leave a comment. Um, also, you know, also if you want to, you know, help support me, uh, click the link below to buy me a coffee. Um, much appreciated. So. With that being said, guys and girls, I've been Kenny the Vaping Heed. Stay safe. Vape safe. I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Cheers now. Bye.